million dollar listings, million dollar Toronto condos listings. This is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto real estate agent and mortgage broker. And today we're going to talk about condos you can buy in Toronto for a million dollars, one to two million dollars. Okay, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto real estate agent, mortgage broker. I'll give you a quick introduction who I am. Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Welcome to my channel if it's your first time. Thank you again for revisiting, commenting, liking, subscribing. I love it. Thank you very much for your support. This is my Twitter, twitter.com slash Cap. I'm logged in now, so it looks a little different, uh, but it's okay. Black background. Uh, yesterday, I put uh, 12 picks of Toronto investors from 380 to 1.8. I also put uh, uh, truth about Toronto rentals. Yes, they're real. Yes, they're expensive. $4.20 a foot in Yorkville. Uh, $4.10 a foot in King West. Average Toronto rental, like average everywhere, even like the armpits are close to $4 a foot. Okay, we got some assignments here. 330 Richmond, you wanna buy, this is one of the best deals downtown. 769 a foot, if it's still available, check with me because by the time you watch this video, it might have been sold. The good ones do sell quickly, just how it is, okay? Um, and, and soon, once I review this video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. 565,000 for uh, one bed, one bath, nice 635 square feet, 11th floor. This is a good building by the green, by the green. I review those previously, but I'm just running just to show you quickly if it's your first time. 1.25 for the art shop penthouse, two bath, two bath, corner unit, two balconies, very nice unit. Okay, um, Nobu 1.2. You can we can even have Nobu units at, in the low sixes, which is quite amazing. If you can get in Nobu, get in Nobu. Um, if you can't get in Nobu, get somewhere else. This this is a uh, what do we got here? Penthouse in the sky. Condo prices are going up. Uh, we're going to review the prices in the next video, but what's happening is the condo prices are going up and the house prices kind of settled a bit. Okay. Yesterday I, I was at this penthouse uh, at the fashion house, 10,000. It's been in the market for less than a week and I think it's going to get leased today. So 10,000 a month get leased in a week? Yes, it does happen. Why? Because this penthouse, by the way, was sold uh, a couple years ago, 2017, for 2.7 million. So you can imagine, well over three million right now for this penthouse. It's a very nice unit. I was inside. It's a proper living space, and yes, that's what it costs to get this unique space. But you know, uh, investing, you can go 488 University. We have this assignment here for 6495, 39th floor, facing south. Fantastic unit. Okay. So today's topic is million dollar listing. So let me show you million dollar listings, condos in Toronto. Okay. So. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get back to this in a second, is I'm going to go to yossi.searchwheels.co. Let me do this with you live so you can see what I'm doing. I go to yossi.searchrealty.co, C-O. That's our interface in the company. You can access this. It's free. In an aggregate system, you take the MLS, the pocket list, and the assignments, put them all together. Come here. Hit Toronto. I'm logged in already, so I won't have to log in now. Okay, I'll just show you just for all of Toronto. And I hit search. And then the map comes, still there, yeah, that's good. The map comes and it just blurs everything and now we're gonna start zooming in a little bit. So first we're gonna filter. I wanna make sure it's got at least one bath just to kill if there's any commercial space or parking. And now to, today we're gonna look at a million dollars, so one, one, two, three, one, two, three, up to one, nine, 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 nine. So they'll take me for one million to two million less a dollar and this is everything in the system uh, over 2,000 listings for one 1,200 here updated 1,213 or more system found this is just in the Toronto proper okay so this is Toronto proper there's so many more that's unbelievable but let's zoom in so I'm gonna hit uh, now you can see here these are the property types now because it aggregates you find a condo, condo apartment, condo town so you gotta play with them a bit but Condo apartment is the one that uh, zooms in on the listed listings. So here we go. So we can see them right here. I'm going to click view. Okay. And now I start to see what's available in the system. And you can see uh, geographically, it's really interesting because you can see that the downtown entertainment district, King West, of course, and a long Young Street, Bay Street University, that's where you find the million dollar listings. And then you're going to find them a bit on the beach. You're going to find them up uh, at the Science Center. These are condos, okay? And then you're going to find them along the High Park and down at the new uh, areas. 
uh, around the Humber River, just west of the Humber. Okay, but the most most I'm obviously interested is down here. So let's look at Toronto condo listing, million dollar listings in Toronto for condos, one to two million dollars. I'm gonna sell right here, and then watch my sort order. Okay, and here is a beautiful listing, which is two million less one hundred, and that's this unit here. And let's see what you get for two million dollars at thirty six Blue Jay. That's the Soho. So that's an older building. It's been completed about fifteen years ago. And it was quite the rage when completed. And this unit's obviously been uh, redone uh, beautifully. It's a two-story, spacious unit, lots of art. And what you're paying here, you're paying for location, you're paying for size, you're paying for the reno. And obviously, it's a large unit. It's 2,400 square feet, so it's under $1,000 a foot. And a massive terrace of 650 square feet. So dollar per foot, it's a good deal. You see, when you pay a million dollars or $2 million, dollar per foot, you're actually getting good deals. You're getting good deals. Now, mind you, that, that's a busy area. That's a downtown area. But if that's what you're looking for, there you have it, right there. Okay? Go back to search. I'll show you a couple more Toronto condo listings, million-dollar one. We'll talk about million-dollar listing and what makes them so unique. So, you know, when we started, million, dollar, million dollars were just as absorbent, crazy. It was like a billion dollar today, a trillion dollar today. But as prices come up, billion dollars not so much anymore. Nonetheless, not everyone has a million dollars. It's still there's a psychological and a physical barrier to get into these. Okay, but that's what I'm talking about. Um, here's a really nice unit at the Bursey. That thing sold. I remember I was there in the sale. We couldn't even get in. It was so busy, and it's too bad because uh, we wanted to buy one of the penthouses there, but we just couldn't get in. But that's what you get at the Bergsy today. That's at uh, at uh, St. Lawrence Market. Just waiting for the pictures here to uh, to load. Having a bit of problem loading them, but you're gonna see here. Uh, you're looking here at two bed, three bath, and about 1,500 square feet for two million. So over a thousand a foot, over a thousand a foot at the Bergsy condos. Okay, so higher dollar per foot why because this building is more sought after this building is is a, is a higher potentiality of making even more money in the location and the Berksy itself and the reputation all that puts it all together okay uh, i'm gonna move in i have another uh the map open here and now what i want to do is i want to look at uh filters uh sorry at the sword order which is right here and we're going to go by latest listing what latest listing have been uploaded between one and two million dollars? But there you go, 71 Charles Street. That's an older building. I'm gonna skip that. I'm interested in the fancy ones, of course. Uh, this is interesting. This is 103 the Queensway. That's the NXT condos for one million. Let's see what you get there once you move a little bit west of the downtown. So check it out. Uh, here we are. They have a nice. Uh, this picture here, by the way. The photos are not loading very well today, but we'll have to do with what we have. But that's a lovely unit. Um, they put some marbles on the floor. It's a bit out of the way, but not too far. It's got nice views of the lake, and it's all Miami white. Open concept, very nice. You're looking at, and that's, no, that's not cheap. It does have 1,100 square feet. It does have a large uh, terrace, and it does have two bad and two bad. So you're looking at under 1,000 a foot for this unit, okay? With two bad, two bad, and that's what you get at NXT condos. Okay, uh, Berksy, I showed you. Close that one. Okay, here we are at the Thompson. See pictures, uh, had time to load here. So this is 55 Stewart. Now there are two Thompsons. This is, and they have uh, four or five addresses between them, so it's a little confusing. But this is the first Thompson with the same building with the hotel is. So the Thompson building, you have the condos and the hotel in the same building. The bathroom side, the west side, uh, tower is where the hotel is and the rest of the condo and of course as you know they share a pool so if you're a resident of the Thompson uh, the first one and you go to the pool you may find hotel guests in your pool if you're a resident of fashion house you're not gonna find hotel guests in the, because there's no hotel and there's no commercial access only the residents can come okay but in this case it's a mix that's a really lovely unit uh, nicely done nicely appointed as they say bit of art very very nice lots of space uh, very very good uh, place to put your head down uh, you can make it into a rental or a furnished rental um, highly highly desirable building 1.399 1.4 million 1200 square feet two bath 
too bad, too bad. So very nice overall. Um, chest over. Look in here. They didn't put the they didn't put the taxes in. And it's got one parking space. You can see it here. Okay. So that is the unit for 1.4 million at the Thompson. Very, very nice. Some wood, and of course, it's got a nice pool. All very nice. You have a pool, and you have a bit of view, and this view is, I believe, this would be south. Okay, this is south. You're looking south here. Because that city place down. So you're looking south, very nice, lots of light. Uh, this, this parking lot's been there for a while, and that's a little parquet there. So it's cool, okay? That's good. That's what you get. If you go back to the Humber Palace Pier, that's an older building, but quite renowned and very, very well uh, cared for. And they have just like 33, 55, 77 Harbor Square. They got the best amenities. They got shuttle service here. You know, it's, it's a unique building. Okay. Uh, same price, less than $1,000, $1 1.398. One pile of spirit, too bad, but look at this. The size of this unit is massive. It's over 2,000 square feet. The reason is because all the buildings used to have larger units, uh, larger rooms, and they would sell at a discount per dollar foot. However, because it's a large unit, the condo fees uh, will be higher here just because you're paying more. Okay, so it's $1,810 a month for the condo fees. So that's why you're getting the space at a discount. Because, because the running costs are expensive. So just remember, all the buildings, uh, larger units, used to tend to have higher condo fees. Now, it's not necessarily the case in all of them, but in some of them, like here, but also because the unit is so large, you got a bit more, okay? Because it's it's relationship to your square footage. Okay, this is, uh, we jumped to the east side here, 1173 Dundas. It's a really unique space, and that's why I wanted to show it to you. Um, so that's, 2,435 beautiful industrial light field, 17 foot ceiling. That's kind of cool. Okay, so check this space out. If you're looking for a, like a studio, a loft, a workspace, bring your motorcycle in, you know, has your grand. That's pretty cool, my friends. That is a really nice unit. Check it out. Okay, so that's lovely. You can you can run an office here. You can. Do whatever you want. You can chop it up, put some rooms in, take some rooms out, whatever you fancy. That is a really nice industrial unit, kind of remind reminder of the happy 90 loft days. If, if any of you ever been in Toronto in the late 90s, a lot of lofts, warehouses, you know, before the conversions, as people would come to warehouses and live in them, and yeah, it was a commercial space, but people would make it live. And that happened a lot in Toronto and New York in the 90s and 2000s. Probably before too. Okay, so that's you're looking at this building here. Very, very nice. Uh, you got a tour here if you like. I'll keep this link open. I'll pop it below so you can see. That's a really lovely unit. Okay, and obviously the dollar per foot is low. Just curious about the condo fees. Not bad, 1122 And the property tax is five for the year. That's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. That takes you at about 16, 1700 your carrying costs. If you pay for cash, that's all it costs you. That's very, very nice. So that's a really nice option for you if you're looking for large space, industrial space, do some crazy work in there. Okay, this is an assignment at the Brit Condos, 955 Bay, 35th floor. It's a bit of a larger one, three bath, three bath. Now mind you, larger, it's around the 1,000, 11, 1184 square feet. At one four, asking one four two seven one point one million four hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars for this unit. You'll see that uh, seven twenty-five for the condo fees. It hasn't been, it hasn't run through the first year audit yet, but that's the developer um, developer imagining. This building has got all the bells and whistles. It got it got uh, it got the right address. It got the right location. It's got the grandeur, the grandiosity of the previous uh, hotel that it was in. It's been done really nice. Okay, if you want more information about this or floor plan, just let me know and I'll get it for you. It's not a problem. Okay, so that's 955 Bay Street, the Brick Condos. All right, um, Howland. Okay, this is also a pre-con. Um, this is Tridel building called Bianca. Now, Tridel been making these cube buildings 
you'll see them, uh, there's B Streets, it's not Tridale, but there's B Streets, and Bathurst and Bloor kind of looks like this. And Tridale has the, uh, uh, I think it's called Alexander Square by, uh, by Chinatown. A couple of buildings look like this, but this one is the, the high-end version of this building. You can see it's a very nice building, it's Tridale quality, you know, probably the best builder in Canada, Tridale. Uh, known for their best service. Tridel, you know, when you buy from Tridel, you get a complete product. Um, they have the least amount of complaints. I've never heard anyone complaining about Tridel. I've been to every building in Tridel. When they, you get your keys, it's finished. The hallways are finished. The carpets are laid. Everything's done. A lot of developers, you know, you give you the keys and they push you into a building which is not really done yet. The construction people are in there. Um, all the buildings I've seen of Tridel just before, just after occupancy, they've been, they've been always delivered over and above expectation. That's what I really love about this company. It's amazing how such a giant company can maintain such a high level of service. That's unbelievable. Okay, so that there's a lot to learn from these guys. Uh, there you go. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so this is nice living. It's uh, not exactly downtown. It's uh, up on uh, DuPont there. Beautiful place. Okay, so that's what you're looking for. It'll have an outdoor pool too. Very, very important. We love the buildings with outdoor pools. I think they add a lot of value to the building. Uh, people used to, you know, in the old world, people used to say, oh, outdoor pool, add to the condo fees. It's not actually true. If you look at the real math, um, taking care of such a huge building, it's millions of dollars, and the, the cost of the pool is not that much, really. Okay? So, I, I, can't, I can't dollarize it, but I would imagine that the condo fees on this unit is just the same dollar per foot as it's another building about the same size without the pool because it just gets swallowed in. The expenses are so much, you know, take care of this element is not that big of a deal, okay? Nonetheless, amazing unit. It's going to have some nice views, some nice terraces. Everyone gets a little balcony or terrace. Everyone gets a bit of a sun, sunshine, sunlight. Lots of beautiful uh, outdoor spaces on top of the building. Look at this. This is really nice, really, really nice. So if you're looking for, like, Good living, this is 1.835, three bedroom, three bath, at about 1,500 square feet. So just over 1,000 a foot, very, very nice. Okay. Toronto condos, million dollar listing, going back to uh, my home turf, King West, Queen West. This is at uh, 60 Bathurst. Oh, 60 Niagara, what am I seeing here? 60 Bathurst, absolutely. So look at this space here. This is a beautiful loft style space, proper King West, nice loft, two story open concept I really like this style you know it's not maybe for everyone but I like the, the industrial style um, it's cold but it's warm you know it warms the heart it's really fun it's inspiring these places are inspiring and they really are uh, coming from the late 80s and 90s and 2000s where we all used to like go crash and I did too we just live in warehouses it was so much fun it was industrial spaces and Everyone around you is an artist, and life is amazing, and you can live this right here. You can still be in King West. I also like how they, they finish the place. Really, really nice. Look at that. Someone has very good taste here. Okay. So this unit here, it's uh, 1.1 million, 1099900, 60 bathers, unit 1006, and it's about 1,100 square feet. So it's just 1,000 a foot. 1180, so just under 1,000 a foot. That's very good value. Okay, that is very good value here. You can see it here. Uh, condo fees are modest, 611. So it's about 50 cents a foot, just 60 cents a foot. Property tax also modest, just under four grand a year. So you take that number, 3954 here, divided by 12, and that's your, that's your number for the month. Okay, but the taxes you pay twice a year. Okay, or four times a year. So this is the unit, look at this, it's pretty nice, right? It's got like a second floor, <clears throat> and the second floor is where the bathroom is, and the living area. Yeah, that, that, that's a good idea, I can show you what it looks like. I, I think in real life it probably look a little larger than it looks in the picture, the picture is a little condensing here. Um, very clean and nice unit, I really like it. Okay. Oh, we've been in this one before. Okay. So now I want to talk to you a little bit more about million dollar listings and value of million dollar listings. You see, <clears throat> when you buy a million dollar listing, you got to think to yourself, how is this million dollar going to make me better? How is it going to make my life better? How is my investment going to be better? 
how can I make that one million to two million to three million to four million? You know, this is gonna happen. Life is long, you got time, and sooner or later these things happening. Okay? So the way to buy the million dollar condo is the same way you buy the half a million dollar condo or the two million dollar condo. You gotta pay attention. And you gotta pay attention to a few things. The first thing you gotta pay attention is of course your location. Very important because your location will determine so many other things that you cannot change, okay? Want you stuck in there, you're in there. So that's the one thing. The second you want to think about is the actual building. Is the building style good for you? Like, you know, 15 Beverly, the 15 degree condo, that the, the, they put all the unit. This is an amazing building. We've looked at some, this is a townhouse here, 1.225, okay? So if you like to be in the Queen and Beverly area, that's fantastic, you know, that's where you are. You got, you got the rooftop pool, okay? got everything nice that's really cool it's a unique concept building there's a townhome this units come and go here all the time it's not a large building uh, but this one's chopped into three beds and three baths and they fit in about 1100 square feet so that's kind of cool okay so that's the second thing is, is the building itself the third is you want to think and very very important is the layout of the unit is the layout working for you would it work for you would it work for your lifestyle would it work for your investment purposes okay not all units are created uh, equal and that's what I'm here for as a real estate agent. I've seen so many units and I own them and I bought them and I sold them for myself and my friends so I can tell you what units would likely work and what would not. What would be the main points and what would not. You know, um, with every listing that we do and went through hundreds if not thousands of listings in my life you learn more and more and more and getting to the point now where I can pretty easily predict this will sell, how long would it take, how much would it how much would it get, okay? Because that's what every seller want to know is, how long would it take me to sell? How much would I get? And of course, how much would it cost me, okay? So, now when you get to the million dollar listing, you also want to get something very unique, okay? Unique, you want a bit of view, you want a bit of fresh air. <laughs> so you can look into a two store unit here that's a beautiful penthouse, you know, like, really nice well done somebody put a lot of effort here in making this place not just taking the concrete box and making it but look at this like they really put everything nice together and that's something you can do you can get a designer to do it for you but they're just over two million uh that's a townhouse 28 but just to show you these things are available okay those are rarely rarely come up so that's really nice okay million dollar listings my friend when you buy the million dollar listings, make sure you buy the right location, make sure you get the right advice, make sure you call Yossi, that's me, your real estate agent. If you're buying or selling, I'll help you. Let's make some money, let's have a lot of fun, have a great life. That's it.